In this next uh, clip, we're going to watch John working with Claire. He's doing a demo counseling session and he's going to show us an opening statement with the child, confidentiality, and then you're going to roll right into wishes and goals, right? Yes. Yep. Claire, so a couple of things I need to say to you before we start uh, counseling. And one of them is that what you say here stays here. Private, personal information, okay? Mm -hmm. And, but, but you know, your parents, sometimes parents get curious about mm -hmm. what their children talk about in counseling. Mm -hmm. So let's say your mom calls me up and says, I want to know what Claire told you. Um, my policy is, and I'll explain this to her too, is that, well, I'm just not going to say on the phone, well, yeah, Claire told me this and that. Instead, I'm going to say, well, let's have a meeting. Okay. Because I don't want to talk behind your back. Mm -hmm. um, and so if we talk about some things that maybe are a concern for your parents, uh, they might need to know, they might want to know. And so we'll just schedule a meeting to talk with them. Okay. Now, the exceptions to the privacy that you have is if you were to talk about um, wanting to kill yourself or hurt yourself, mm -hmm. if you were to talk about child abuse or elder abuse or things like that, mm -hmm. then, um, then I have to, not that I suspect that that's the case, but then right. I would have to notify some people about that because somebody would be in danger. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I get that. Okay. Not that I think that that's the situation for you, but I'm supposed to tell everybody. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. So, to start with, I'm interested in what you're interested in doing in our counseling session today. Mm -hmm. And so, if you could make a wish, let's say you could make three wishes. Okay. Just like the lamp. Okay. Okay, so <laughs> one wish um, about your maybe school stuff. Okay. One wish about you, and then an extra wish about anything you want. Okay. Um, so I think about school. Um, my wish would probably be um, that I had more time to spend um, on school related things mm -hmm. so I could work harder and um, know my s school information better okay. when I go into class every day. So you'd like to have more time to work and mm -hmm. be better prepared yeah. for when the school day starts and you would just charge in there and impress everybody. Right, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, so then about myself, could I say that I wish for, like, a younger sister? Yeah. I think it would make me more responsible, and it would um, help me realize if I was um, sort of relying on my parents to do things for me. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it would be fun sometimes, too. Yeah, yeah. So there's some things that would be cool about having a younger sister, mm -hmm. uh, including the fact that it would make you more responsible. Yeah, and I know that I would sometimes wish I was an only child. Um, and I think sometimes when I'm at home, I get used to being the center of attention. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure that's always a good thing. Mm -hmm. But um, I don't know. I also think it would be nice to have someone who looks up to me. Yeah. And I think a little sister would. Yeah. And I, I don't think I would want a little brother, though, because... Yeah, how come? <laughs> um, boys are messy, usually, and um, I don't think he would look up to me as much as mm -hmm. a little sister. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why, but... Yeah, so it would really feel nice to you to have a little sister who looked up to you. Yeah. Yeah. What would she, your little sister, if you had one, what would kinds of things would she especially look up to you for? Um, I think 
she would look up to me for, um, like, probably my drawings, maybe. Okay. And I can just picture my little sister, I can just picture her coming in if I was drawing a horse or something and her looking over and trying to copy it with her crayon or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that would feel kind of cool. That'd, yeah. That would be nice. And I, I know it would get annoying too, but yeah, I think there are pros and cons to being an only child, to being the youngest child, to being an oldest child. Mm -hmm. to whatever your family situation is. Yeah. So it wouldn't be all good. Yeah. But it would be nice, especially nice to have a little sister who wasn't too messy mm -hmm. <laughs> and who looked up to you for your drawings and other things like that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So those were two wishes. We got the one about you being more time for schoolwork, getting all prepared, charging into school already. Second one is maybe a little, oh, what age, little sister? Um, I think I'm 12. Um, probably six or seven, maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay, so quite a few years younger, but not... Yeah. Not a lot. Yeah, that would be half my age, I think. So. Yeah. So that might be fun. Yeah. So you get another extra wish. You want to um, use it for anything? Um, I think... Huh. I think maybe I would wish that... My parents had, maybe I, I would wish that they were retired so okay. they had more time to do things they like to do and, you know, to spend time with me before I am too old and I move away. <laughs> yeah. Because they'll probably be retired when I yeah. am in college. So they're, they're working a fair amount now and yeah. it would be nice if maybe they had enough money and they could just retire now yeah and well hang out with you and my more. dad um since he works at the university he spends a lot of time here in billings mm -hmm. when my mom and i are in nye uh -huh. so i don't get to see him as often as i might like to yeah he'll be gone several days yeah in a little block of time and you won't see him right yeah yeah, so those are three mm -hmm. nice wishes. Now, one of the things, because I am sort of, I think, like psychologically, I'm always thinking, oh, I wonder what those wishes mean about Claire. And I'm just going to take them kind of on the surface. I'm going to say one is you want to be prepared and walk into school mm -hmm. and, and maybe impress other people and maybe impress yourself. Yeah. Yeah. And especially since I'll be starting middle school next year, I think it's becoming more important to me to find things I'm good at and work hard at them. Yeah. Okay. And so, and then the, the second one is somebody to look up to you. And that's sort of um, also related to how maybe somebody who you would feel good about how she looked at you, mm -hmm. okay? So, and, but also at the same time, it might feel good inside of you. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm drawing a pretty good horse. Yeah, like I'm someone's to, role model. She wants to be like me, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, role model. And then the third one is just a, a little more time with your parents and maybe especially with your dad because he's um, away a little more than your mom. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it would make them happier too and they would be able to do more things. Um, you know, when they come home most of the time now, they have to, my dad has to grade papers and my mom has to work on different things and type things up on her computer. Mm -hmm. And if they, I think if they were retired, they would be able to do things they liked or do things with me more um, whenever I came home. Yeah, like what? Um, 
Like what kinds of things would they do? We always like to take walks mm -hmm. together when we aren't busy. And we hike sometimes. And um, I think my parents, since they're usually busy, when they come home, they like to relax. Mm -hmm. When they don't have to do anything, they like to relax and enjoy yeah. not doing anything. Yeah. And I would sort of enjoy it sometimes if when they had time off, we could um, go shop shopping or something. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So the walks would be nice, but maybe instead of them being tired and just wanting to relax, mm -hmm. maybe get out of the house and go shopping or do something like that together. Yeah. So a few more activities outside of the house together. Right. Okay. Nice.